Hey guys, welcome back to episode number five of our nutrition series. Today we're going to talk about best sources of um, protein, carbs, fats, and veggies. I'm really excited to get this information to you. This is a big question we get a lot of times. Um, before we actually get to our list, what I really just want to talk to you guys about is understanding what foods actually have protein in them, which foods are good carbohydrate sources. And really what that comes down to is being able to identify what, what are the primary calories um, in each food. So, you know, for, for example, um, I use something like peanut butter as a great example for people. A lot of times you see that marketed as it's a great protein option or it has seven or eight grams of protein per serving. Um, and they just neglect to tell you that that's not where your primary, your primary total of calories is coming from. So in this example, I just used the peanut butter that I have in the fridge. Um, there's 16 grams of fat. And if you guys remember back to our, one of our first episodes, um, fat has nine calories per gram. So that comes out to be 144 calories. Um, and protein is only seven grams, um, which if you guys remember, to get to that same episode, there's four calories per gram of protein, which comes out to be 28 calories. So although peanut butter gets touted as this great source of protein, you can see that you're getting a significant amount of more calories from fat in this case. And that's really what you want to identify is something a protein, is something a fat, is something a carb source, is do the, do the largest amount of calories come from that particular group? And if yes, then you know it is a good source of protein or yes, it's a good source of, of fat, so on and so forth. Uh, and we can use a lot of examples like that. You can see things like granola bars. You know, they're marketed the same way. Get that special K granola bar. It's got added protein. It's got 10 grams of protein to it. They're trying to trick you, fool you into buying that. And really what it comes down to is if you looked at the back nutrition label, you'd see 25, 30 grams of carbohydrates, a lot of that being sugar, and only eight to 10 grams of protein. So again, you're getting upwards of three times, almost four times as many calories from carbs, but they're, they're tricking you. They're figuring out ways to um, kind of manipulate you based upon what you think is good. Um, one of my favorite examples um, comes from my daughter who's one, and uh, on her sunscreen, it says it's gluten-free. As if I care that the sunscreen, if she ingests it, it's gluten-free. That is certainly not my biggest worry, but they know gluten-free is a big buzzword right now. So they put that on that sunscreen. Um, so those are just some simple ways that sometimes we get manipulated and can very, very easily confuse on what food is good for us and what food are good choices for protein, carbs, fats, that sort of thing. So hopefully that kind of helps you guys kind of understand things on your own. I really encourage you, read the back of that nutrition label, find out where the, the primary calories are coming from, and that really helps make some informed decision. From there, we've got a really nice list of things. So we're gonna start with protein. What are great protein options? Well, what this really comes down to is any sort of, any sort of meat, beef, chicken, pork, fish, um, any sort of wild game. So if you're a hunter, you know, deer, duck, pheasant, all those sorts of things are great um, forms of protein, as well as eggs, Greek yogurt, and tofu. Um, so with those, some of these options too, they do have a little bit more fat to them, so you have to be careful. Things like beef are a little more fatty. Now you can do things like draining the beef, cutting the, beef, cutting the fat off the steak to kind of change those ratios. Eggs are the same way. We know there's a lot of protein in eggs in the egg white, a little more fat in the yolk. So if you wanted to up that protein, you could have a couple full eggs and a couple egg whites mixing that in there. That'd be a great way to add the extra protein without the extra fat. Um, carbs, all fruits are good. Um, sometimes what I hear are questions like, well, should I have you know, this fruit or that fruit? Which one's got more sugar to it? Which one's got more you know, this or that? There's a lot of questions that come around that. At the end of the day, you can't go wrong with eating fruit, okay? Fruit's always gonna be a good, good carb choice. And if we go back to our previous episodes, you know, just keeping in mind your servings over the course of your day, as long as you stay within those servings, any fruit's gonna be fine. Potatoes are good. Rice of all kinds, not just brown rice or wild rice, but things, white rice is fine. Um, jasmine rice is fine. So any type of rice that you wanna have is fine. Again, just stay within your portions, which we've talked about in previous episodes. Um, beans, lentils, and oats are other great forms as well. Um, fats, any type of oil is gonna be good. I listed a few of our favorites, coconut oil, avocado oil, extra virgin olive oil. 
nuts, nut butters, you know, that'd be your peanut butter, cashew butter, almond butter, avocados, eggs again are a great source of fat, as I mentioned in that protein category, um, and then butter. Um, and then the last thing here, veggies. Any vegetable you want, it does not matter. Um, we hear a lot of times some people say like, well, what about like things like carrots? Those, got have, those have more carbs to them than um, spinach. And yes, that's true, but you know, you're, you're not eating junk food. You're, you're not piling on pizza and other things onto your plate. Carrots are just fine. I don't know anybody who has become unhealthy because they've eaten too many carrots. But I certainly know people who have had problems putting the pizza down or other things like that, the junk food. So don't worry about whole natural foods. And that's kind of, if you guys look at our list here, all of these things just occur in nature. Um, so that's what we're intended to eat. It's, it's just trying to stay away from the processed stuff. And that's kind of the overarching theme here is that all of these foods are really, like I said, they come from nature. If, it, if, if you can find it in nature, it's probably a pretty good bet that you can eat it. Um, so go ahead, choose your favorite categories of each of these foods. Um, with, the, with the veggies, I like to just encourage people eat the rainbow. Lots of different colors of vegetables. You know, your greens, your purples, yellows, reds, all that sort of stuff, everything is good. So I hope that helps you guys just kind of understand what are good options of each. Um, next week, I'm looking forward to talking to you guys about some common nutrition myths. So make sure to tune in for that. Hope you guys have a great day.